Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So please, let's be sincere. Now some people are meeting my but no, we have rejected your resignation, but we are allowing you to go on an indefinite leave until you come and hand over. Now if somebody was on an indefinite leave and he comes back and say no, I have come back because you you rejected my resignation. Why should you today turn around and say no? He has to apply, apply to to your mouse. Are you sure, my brother? Apply to you. Now I'm gonna. Kachina ni wangu na baadhi. Na ba chama America. Hello na ba Mr. Ground. Ebo ba lungu waka chete apply. Come on, mad jokes are. Fee sale if you want. Fee sale if you. I don't want to be sarcastic, but kwa diwa munt munt mchuro chalo landa tu koko tumpa. I think kula le landa tu kutumpa de kutumpa kutumpa e uku. Umwana munga ndaisa imadi nene wiso. So ba dadu fumale lumule njita dadi nena kula mita tu umwana. Mawa zile kefu sela, my brother. Come back to your senses. It's never too late. Come back to your senses. Le kefu. Once I wawale kuchita celebrate, it went in tears, my brother. It went in tears. Stop it. And come back to your senses. If you're late, start a few women. And tell people the truth that you were part of the meeting that rejected President Ed Galungu's resignation. Now today you want to lie and know he resigned, so you should uh, apply. It's not right. Waka Indian I'm my brother. Tefiwe fumule chitokrani e chalo. I don't want to be emotional or attach emotions when advising about this matter because this matter is extremely important that Zambians must learn to say no to wrong things not just support for the sake of supporting I have been very consistent about condemning wrong things and I will continue the same trajectory the so called uh, uh, Mao Sampa <laughs> General Conference, which, which we are calling Kubuta. Now, the issues that have followed that are issues that I think we need to, to face with, uh, without emotions. Because if we use emotions, we are going to be misunderstood. I think it's time that Zambians need to be told the truth and nothing but the truth based on the provisions of our constitution and the provisions of the law. Ichiwe mbachitila li mbule sansa Kalila amena mishila Countrymen and women And all those who are watching us Let me say that uh, If we are not careful If we are not careful in Zambia We are going to create a political monster That will be very difficult To control Or indeed to remove I'll repeat that. If we are not careful for Zambians, all of us collectively, whether in the opposition or in the ruling party, 
if we are not going to be careful, we are going to create a monster that we are, will be very, very difficult to remove or control. Why do I say so? It is because of the attitude of us Zambians. I must say that us Zambians have got a very bad attitude towards our governance, our de democratic tenants, and our democratic dispensation. I must say that us Zambians, we've got a very bad attitude, a laissez-faire attitude towards issues affecting our governance, our democracy, and institutions of government. We take a very laissez-faire attitude towards these things. And yet, these are the things that are at the core of national development. These are things that if they are not observed, the country may end up being undeveloped for many years to come. If we get very serious about issues of governance and confront them as they come with the right attitude and with being sincere with ourselves, Zambia will develop. What we are seeing in Zambia today creates fertile, a very fertile ground for somebody to become a dictator and a monster that we are not going to control. It all started with the issues surrounding the ka, 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 uh, Kwacha and Kabushi by elections. What happened during the Kabushi and Kwacha by election is something that every reasonable Zambian should con condemn in no and strongest terms and with the contempt that it deserves. But what did we see? We saw some people celebrating, some people supporting. When we could see that what was done was illegal and against all norms provided for under our constitution. The constitution court, which is the highest court in the land to deal with constitution matters, ruled that uh, when you you are uh, your seat has been nullified it's not the same as eligibility does not mean that when your seat has been nullified you should you are equally uh, 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 prevented from running for office what did we see what we saw that the ruling party with impunity using the electoral commission of Zambia went ahead to conduct elections without allowing Honorable Malangi and Honorable Boma and Busambo to recontest their seats. The elections went on despite the, the fact that there was apathy and that apathy was created because people were not happy with the turn of events. But we've sat down as Zambians and just accept that uh, <laughs> the two MPs sitting in Kabushi and Kwacha were duly elected when we know for sure that that election was stolen, that was a sham of election. Now, immediately you create that impression. You are making those that... Uh, 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 that those that created that atmosphere to think that they were right when in actual fact we should have condemned them and say that we should not allow those two MPs to be in office that aside today we are seeing a situation where the ruling party using the police wants to obliterate the patriotic front using under and methods. When I addressed 
uh, the, the country I think uh, last week I did allude to the fact that uh, the patriotic front has got a constitution which constitution spells out how a general conference can be convened in a nutshell one the central committee must have a resolution to say that we are going to order a, 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 a general conference once they make that resolution they ask for people to put in applications to show their interest to contest once their interest is declared through the office of secretary general the central committee will reconvene once the central committee reconvenes they will make recommendations to the national council the national council will sit to approve those who should now go and file in nominations for election at the general conference 24 hours before the elections and what is the composition of the uh, national council the composition of the national council is all members of the central committee all district secretaries all district chairmen all provincial uh, secretaries and provincial chairmen all mayors all councillors all mps etc etc and the national council is chaired by the chairman of the party and the convention also is chaired by the chairman of the party all these have been outlined in the constitution now what begs an answer is that why should the registrar of society even entertain change of office bearers by one mile sampa and this uh, faction when none of these procedures were followed and by the way when you are registering a political party countrymen and women you we do deposit a constitution with the registrar of society the whole essence of depositing your constitution is for the registrar to check whether you are running your political party in conformity with the provisions of your constitution especially that now political parties are no longer club but they are constitutional institutions which are spelled out in the 2016 uh, 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 you know uh, uh, constitution the 2016 amended national constitution the job of the uh, the job of the registrar of societies is that if there is any dispute in a political party first and foremost people don't even need to go to court the registrar is a referee who can say that look this dispute that you have your constitution spells the following things and if you did not meet any of these criteria to do whatever action not only uh, the, holding the general conference or elections whatever action that may bring uh, uh, you know dispute the registrar will advise and says no we cannot do this because you did not follow your constitution that was deposited with our office now we are extremely disappointed that there has been attempts by the registrar of society to change office bearers merely by a letter coming from Mao Sampa claiming that he had held a, a, a general conference and was elected president of the patriotic front even when you see the videos from that general conference one would tell that that was a fake and sham gathering look when they applied for the police permit and when they applied for the use of the mulungush international conference they said the, the pf is going to have a retreat and in the pf constitution there's no provision for a retreat 
So right from the beginning, what Mao Sampa reported on this group were all lies that cannot be entertained. And what is so annoying is that that uh, so-called Extraordinary General Conference was held on the 24th of October. And we have a letter. It ended around 18 hours on the 24th of October. And the same 24th in the evening, the Commission of Police, the Deputy Commission of Police, wrote a letter to the Registrar of Societies clearing the uh, names of office bearers for Mao Sampa that he was elected as president. Now, I have registered a party before. We have tried to change uh, office bearers before. There is no way, there's never been a time that the police have cleared the names within an hour or two. Because what happened, like I've said, there was this letter by the Commission of Police to the Registrar of Societies telling her that we have cleared these names and we can go ahead and effect changes on the PF. By nine hours in the morning, the, the fingerprints were cleared and the letter rendered to the Registrar of Societies. The police became very efficient for the first time. I can give you examples of applications or scenarios where the Registrar of Societies has refused to change office bearers when a matter is in court. The first one is the, the uh, NDC. Transmission. The first one was for the NDC. When the way Rang was in the NDC, Comrade Mwenyamu Senge said he, he was the president of the NDC and that uh, I was not the president of NDC, etc., etc. He went, approached the Registrar of Societies to try and change. He started uh, playing with, uh, with the network. I was saying that we had a similar situation when I was in the NDC, where Mwenyamu Senge just woke up and wrote a letter to the Registrar of Societies to say that uh, they have, um, he was the right president of the NDC and requested that names uh, be changed of office bearers. We took Mwenyamu Senge to court to challenge his action. When we took him to court, the Registrar of Societies refused both parties, our part side and the side of Mwenyamu Senge, refused to entertain any change of office bearers. And the reason she gave was simple. She said we cannot effect any changes unless the matters in court are concluded. And true to our word, when the matters were concluded, she accepted the constitution and accepted to change the office bearers. In the case of the Mutati versus Nakachinda, equally, the Registrar of Societies refused to change the names of the office bearers that until the court matters were exhausted. In the case of Ari Karawa with uh, Judith Kabemba and others, the Registrar of Societies again refused to change office bearers as long as the matters were in court. There was no need of an injunction. There was no need of a restraining order. The Registrar of Societies acted on just a mere fact that the dispute had been taken to court.
Now, ask yourselves, countrymen and women, why is it that the same registrar of society who refused to change office bearers for MMD, for uh, 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 National Democratic Congress, and of course for Calabas uh, uh, DP, Democratic Party, why should they be in a hurry before the matters are concluded to change the office bearers? It simply shows you that there is political interference from the party in office. And that's why I said, if all of us Zambians collectively, we become responsible and show the government of the day, it doesn't matter which government, that what they are trying to do at a certain time is wrong, then this country will develop. But if we are going to support because today I am UPND, if UPND makes a mistake, then it is okay. Because today I am PF, if PF makes a mistake, then it is okay. This country will forever be in conflict without registering any development at all. Reflect on what I've told you Zambians and let's start telling people the truth. Laura Miti, kudos, my sister. Chama, 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 Funda, Funda Chama, Fumba, Fumba Chama. Where are you? Wale imbane ni imboli. You don't say when wrong things are done. Can't you do more? Tasha, could you carry with you? Back to the French, too much one disease. Most of the NGO people were speaking loudest. I've been given jobs and are quiet. No, let's not. Let's stop doing that and build our Zambia so that posterity does not judge us harshly. Let's leave Zambia better than we found it. This thing of perpetuating wrong things all the time is not right. It's not taking us anywhere. Leave the patriotic front alone by UPND. Mundia Mwaicho and Mundia, special assistant to the president, for legal. Wale Ishanya Sana when you were my lawyer. On almost everything. But you are in the forefront. Na living home. Na imbi. Na even what you to have a sona. Tamba sona and mle is sona. Those offices you are holding are very temporal. They are constitutional offices where once government changes, you are not there. Use those offices to create linkages, friendship, build bridges, don't burn bridges. Because you use those same bridges to cross back. Elon, I'm a government, I'm a government, my name, my president, HH. Certain positions needs mature people. Certain positions need mature people. Mila anga shefi fulo. Mila anga shefi fulo. If you are a special assistant to the president, tell the president the truth. Don't tell the president what he wants to hear. Tell them nothing but the truth. Na totalam kwa, I hope mwa unfefio na sasa. Esampale. Long live Zambia. Good night. Chishimba Kambiri. Signing off. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.